Hello and welcome to Statistics TV. It's your boy DJ Cell, and we are back for another edition of Cell Reviews. And this edition, we are we are going to be reviewing currencies, Freddie Gibbs, and the Alchemist collaborative project called Fetty. Now, this is not a new album. It was released last year in October, so it's relatively old. However, in this in this period where we where we are going into the new year is January 2019 and not a lot of artists release these new projects around this time so I want to take this time on this channel to actually look back onto the albums that I wished I could have uploaded this album is a vintage vintage hip-hop album that is on the smooth side and it if you like that luxurious um, drug dealing street life album this is it for you I'm going to analyze the story part of this of this project I actually love the story on this there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of topics that was discussed uh, from drug dealing to um, to to women and money. Like those were the three main occurring topics. Um, however, uh, and and I love the fact that he kept a very consistent theme throughout, which was again the streets and 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 how and how it really gets. And I loved how how both these artists were able to bring a view, a kind of luxurious view to it, a luxurious few to it that 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 was that was the the highlight for me in, in this album i personally would have preferred them or would have actually liked them to maybe take a conceptual look at it on what they would have wanted the streets to be like in in, in a couple of tracks i mean it is a nine track album so they could have probably added a couple more tracks um play with a little bit of um, a, a little bit of conceptual side to it. However, n not to deter from um, from the current from, from the cur cu current storytelling of this album, it was actually like I said, it was quite exquisite. For the story side, I gave it a six point seven out of eight. Like again, it was just like it was like listening. It was just your one of the meal projects, like showing the street side. For the for the local content, I gave it a six point six out of seven. I don't fault the, the, I don't fault at all the content on this album. I actually both artists, in my opinion, they done extremely well. Um, and I, <laughs> they currency done his thing, but I believe that Freddie on this album he really stole the show. Like I did not um for this for what they were going for in in the album, it was actually a compliment to have Freddie on the album and i mean compliment as in what he brought was extremely fitting for the story it was very aggressive he was uh, not just aggressive but at the same time he had the he had a certain demeanor and a certain boldness to his voice and to the story that he was trying to tell not to take anything away from currency because currency actually did his um he actually done his job and that was like you know his style is just his style like he is very he his voice and and the way he presents his his raps it's just it's smooth it's uh it's quite on the mellow side so when you had someone like freddie gibbs come in this is a like you can see that this collaboration would work out perfectly and i like and i like the chemistry on this project in in a sense that currency would always be the one to like lay down the foundation before each track and freddie would just come in and he's 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 aggressive with the story um, with the story that he was trying to tell, this is a currency type of album. This is what an album that, that currency would actually do by himself. Like if you listen to his to, to his projects, this is his feel. This is forte. But for Freddie to come in at Leah, that that's what I mean by a story. Show. Not I'm not saying that it's necessarily better than currency because I think both rappers they offer they they offer something different and they offer a different style to them. It's not like they're both the same type of rappers if you, do, if, if you know what i'm trying to say they're both great in their own right i gave it 6.6 .6 out of 7 um for the local content like honestly more of that in here because i was really impressed when i when i heard what these guys had to say especially especially uh with uh with with Palacio, is it Palacio? I believe, I believe it was Palacio. I, I think I, I think it was called the story in there oh my gosh I was blown away. Uh, for the flow and style, I gave it a 4.2 out of 5. 
this <laughs> for luxury for luxury rap to work there there has to be a certain swagger to to it and you know a certain cadence to the work and this collaborative style it, it really worked well like i said before like i alluded to before briefly um which was which was the fact that the, that both guys complemented each other they um currency would would lay down the foundation while um while Freddie Gibbs would come in with that aggressive style that worked really well on this album overall like the style in which in which this was done in it's one of those you really have to have an open mind when you, when you come into this album because if you're expecting for there to be some kind of club cuts there wouldn't be in there isn't one in this if you're expecting there to be kind of a a, a single or on hit hit single there isn't none this, this, this is not that type of project which is why I said um don't come to this project if you are looking to buy pep, um, coke or fanta and because this is a pepsi machine it is vintage rap if you go up on nas i believe and big l all those artists you're going to appreciate this uh, this album to the core the instrumentation uh, i gave it a 4.1 i think alchemist actually done an excellent job I don't need to say anymore because uh, if you know what he can produce, if you know what he can do, this is pretty much him. Just <laughs> nah, he's not even trying on this album. I think he's just flexing. There was so, there were so many ideas that he has tried instrumentally. I loved, I loved how each story, like each story. I I, I haven't heard this in a while, where every track that you select actually fits the story. Um, it actually does set, it, it was like it, it was like a musical movie like like I cannot I'm running out of words to actually describe it but it was literally like every time I was listening over and over and over again I was literally it felt as if I was actually watching a movie um, but I know that's not his best that's, that's what I'm trying to say I've heard a lot a lot better um, better beats from him I've heard a lot better projects from him and i know this is not his best like yeah. but it's not even but the, but, the, but the thing is it's not bad it's actually not bad at all it's nowhere near bad overall i like the scores that i gave it added up to 21.6 out of 25 which would be 8.6 uh out of 10 uh one, once you simplify it which is 86 percent 86.4 percent with that score like there is there is nothing more um nothing more i can say about that i really wish i reviewed this album a lot earlier when it was uh when it was brand new i i wish i didn't sleep on it but then again well i mean but then again that being said about being sleep on it i'm glad i found it now because i can actually because i can actually bring it to you guys who actually do do listen and watch and watch this channel or go off and do listen to these albums i also think that uh um i also think that I'm probably not the, not the only person that slept on this album. A lot of people did sleep on this album. It's not they haven't really done a press run for it or 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 anything like that. So I wouldn't really be I'm I'm I'm, I'm not gonna beat myself up too much about it because um, it's one of these albums that you just kind of you'll come or it won't come. But I do implore that you go listen to this album. Um, I haven't heard uh, li lyricism from the new age rappers on such a high level that these two are, are, are presented. If you like that kind of rap, that kind of luxurious street rap, this is definitely the album for you. Now, if you like the videos that we do, if you like the content, the content that we provide, don't forget to subscribe. We do album reviews and we're also going to be doing anal analysis video videos as well. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button. And I'll see you on the next review. Peace.